New York's one of the craziest real estate markets there is. With that being said, I feel like there are still certain areas where you do get a bit more bang for your buck. I've been thinking about moving for a while now, and so I toured a handful of New York City apartments, and I mean a lot. I spent countless hours scouring Shree Easy and then visiting each and every single one in person to see what the market is like now in 2023 after the summer rush. I also want to acknowledge that some of these rent numbers are absolutely obscene. Like, they feel criminal. I'll be showing you eight of them today. Which one would you choose? The first few apartments I'm checking out are in the financial district, which I know is not a hot part of the city, but it does tend to have a lot of renovated buildings with amenities like elevator, in-building laundry, dishwasher, gym, doorman for safety reasons, things that I personally am looking for. I mean, it is also a pretty convenient location since all the major subway lines convene at Fulton Street. So I took a look at the studio here. You can see it's pretty spacious with an alcove in the back. Because of its size, it went for a very expensive $45.90 a month with one month free. So the net effective rent is $4,200. There's only two closets in this entire space, but it did have a pretty decent kitchen in the middle section with lots of storage space, four burners on the stove, mini dishwasher, which at this price point really should be be a requirement. The fridge was also a pretty good size, decent enough for one to two people. The highlight of the apartment is that it definitely got so much sunlight. You can see that the other buildings are pretty far away. So at any time of the day, you'll always have pretty good light. The biggest con again is the price because it is a studio after all. Another con is also the bathroom. I just thought overall it felt a bit dark and dingy again for this price point. Overall though, a pretty nice apartment and I loved how super spacious and airy it is. The building also had plenty of amenities like this beautiful rooftop and an in-building laundry. You also get this really lovely view of New York City. I can see this being a really nice space to take advantage of over the summer and have friends over. The building had a very big spacious lounge for working and it also had a surprisingly large gym with lots of machines. After this I saw two one bedrooms both with different layouts also in this building. The first one I saw I actually really really like. Here we have a one bedroom one bathroom unit for 40 150 per month with one month free, making the net effective rent 3,800. As you turn to the left, you walk down this hall and straight ahead is the bathroom. Again, not a fan of the bathroom styles in this building, just felt a little bit old and I don't like the dark accents. As you step out of the bathroom, you enter the living room slash kitchen space. You can see it doesn't get nearly as much sunlight as the previous studio. The kitchen's about the same in terms of storage and counter space. Notice that the stove only has two burners though. That is annoying if you like to cook. The fridge is the same, it's good for one to two people. Here's the view from the living room window. It's just some office buildings, but you do get to see a small sliver of the East River. Feels a bit more cramped. It's less airy and spacious, but it is a solid layout. Here's the one bedroom. It's a pretty decent size and you can easily fit a queen bed, a couple of nightstands. The best part's actually the large closet with shelving. Here's another view of it from the other side of the room. The view out the window from the bedroom is the same as the living room, some office buildings, and the East River. Moving on to the next one bedroom. This one I did not like because of the bedroom shape, which you'll see in a sec. This one's a one bed for $42.50 with one month free, a bit more expensive because of the higher floor. Again, just these dark bathrooms that I really dislike. Once you leave the bathroom, directly to your right in the wall is this weird closet, try to be a closet situation. Really not sure what they were aiming for with this. Walk past that and then it opens up into the kitchen with a normal actual closet to the right. You can see that it's almost the exact same layout as the previous one bed, just that the kitchen is along a different wall. Storage, cabinets, fridge are all pretty much the same as we saw before. Moving into the living room here, because it is a higher floor, we are going to get a bit more light, open space, a nice little open view of other buildings. It's not a bad view. Now let's turn around and check out the bedroom. You can see that it's not shaped like a rectangle, but instead Instead, a trapezoid, which I imagine might get annoying when trying to fit in furniture. Plenty of closet and shelving space. The view out the window of the bedroom is actually different from the living room, which is kind of nice. Again, the thing that drove me nuts was that corner right there. It would just make furniture Tetris so much more difficult. And then the next part of my apartment hunt took me all the way to Chelsea, Midtown West, and Hell's Kitchen area. This time, I looked at a mix of both rental apartments and condos. Condos have different owners, and as a result, 
approval, it usually is a lengthier approval process with more paperwork. Here we have a one bedroom, one bathroom for $42.50. It also has a negotiable temporary $100 to $200 off per month because of some gas line issues with the unit, which I'll get into when we hit the kitchen area. Immediately to our left is the bathroom, a lovely bathroom with marble finishes, a full-size tub, a very nice touch. Step out of the bathroom and directly to our left is the one bedroom. It's a beautiful one bedroom, really big and spacious compared to what we've seen so far. One closet up against the wall to our left. Not to mention, these big massive windows that let in so much light even though they are north facing you're still going to get a lot of the beautiful indirect sunlight here's a view out the window to 42nd street to me it feels so quintessentially new york you can even see the taxis going down along 9th avenue in the corner over there here's the view of the one bedroom from another angle once we walk out of the bedroom directly in front of us is a whole closet slash pantry since it's right next to the kitchen the kitchen is lovely you've got stainless steel appliances with bar seating and a sink on our left separating the kitchen from the living room however you see that hot plate in the corner so the listing neglected to mention that the stove wasn't even working. The building had some sort of gas line issue and it wouldn't be restored for at least another one to two months. Because this is a corner unit, you get some windows in the kitchen. Now let's check out the living room. It was being repainted, but that was going to be finished in a couple days. So like I mentioned, because this is a corner unit, you get two sets of windows facing north and facing east. I can't even imagine how incredible the light is in the morning. I included a picture in the top right so we could get a gist of it. The view from these windows are the same as the view from the bedroom facing 40 second street just really really cool in my opinion i will say the biggest perk of this apartment is definitely the amenities this building has a pool an entire ass pool i'll put a picture instead of video because there were people swimming there and i'm not trying to be a creep intruding on people's lives right outside the pool is this beautiful sun deck complete with astroturf a view of the empire state building and peaks of the hudson river i mean just look at this view it is stunning there are so many lounge chairs this must be freaking awesome in the summer oh my god it is so so nice next stop was the fitness center again i'll pop a photo up here since people were working out and i didn't want to be rude and taking videos there was also a second lounge deck with this outdoor staircase and an absolute money shot of new york city like just look at that that is crazy to me anyway this is all just a part of the building's public communal space it included a study lounge as well as a projector theater space that is all shared so much lounge space in case you ever feel like your apartment is getting too cramped i also checked out another one bedroom in this building different owner though this one went for 4350 since the square footage was just a teensy bit larger very similar layout since it is also a corner unit but this time the windows face south and east however this one is also on a lower floor hence less sunlight since it was getting close to sunset very functional kitchen unfortunately it has the same gas line issue that the other apartment in this building also had fridge is a great size lots of counter space on the kitchen bar and sink behind me and you've got this little window in the kitchen again you've also got a dishwasher and an okay amount of storage here is the living room i will say compared to the other apartment this view is very lackluster you're looking at a parking deck which i'm not gonna lie i would hate moving into the bedroom it's also a very similar size to the other one can definitely fit whatever size bed you want and some nightstands maybe even a small desk there's a closet to the right with plenty of shelves and hanging space for your clothes the view however is again of this really ugly concrete parking deck so even though the apartment is slightly larger i definitely prefer the one before in the same building it's cheaper and it feels much more spacious and open and with a nice view of 42nd street the next building that i checked out was hudson crossing a pretty large commercial rental building i took a look at both a one bed and studio here let's start with the one bed this one went for 4216 <laughs> such a random number it's a pretty standard cookie cutter layout based on what we've seen but nice modern and clean walking straight into the living room space you really get a decent amount of room i can imagine a couch on one side a tv on the other maybe squeeze in a desk either by the window or closer to the kitchen the view is quite nice too though i can imagine with all the roadways in this area it might get quite noisy with honking and cars from street level i do wish the windows were a little bit larger to let in a little bit more light if you couldn't tell yet i'm definitely the type of person that thrives off light heading into the kitchen it looks pretty nice so you've got a dishwasher lots of cabinets for storage fridge big enough for two people there's also an entryway closet right next to the kitchen let's check out the bedroom i was surprised but it's actually a good size enough space for whatever size bed you want the view is the same as the living room and again I'd be concerned a little bit about the noise especially in this area I'm a super light sleeper so I know it could be a problem for me you have a pretty large closet along the wall for all your clothes walking out of the bedroom there's a closet to the right and bathroom straight ahead I like these bathrooms super clean and sleek modern you'll definitely know when it gets dirty and it's time to clean for a rental I think
think these are great and really practical. As a little tip, whenever I check out apartments, I try to go through the motions of what I would do if I were living there, check behind the mirrors, flush a toilet, turn on the sink, be thorough. I also checked a studio in this building for good measure and it wasn't that exciting. As you enter, the kitchen is on the left, nice and compact, but not open layout anymore since they had to make space for closets on the other side of the kitchen wall. Honestly, I feel like they use the minimal space pretty efficiently. The bathroom is diagonal from the kitchen and again is modern, sleek, clean, which I think is best for a rental. Going back to the living room, here is one of the two closets in the studio. The view in the studio is the biggest perk of this place. There aren't any large buildings blocking the view. You're close enough to street level to get some really fun people watching, though it might be a little noisy. The floor to ceiling windows really open up the space, even though it's quite small. Heading into the kitchen, you'll see that there are plenty of cabinets for storage, as well as a four burner stove. The building has amenities like a laundry room, as well as this lovely outdoor space. They also have a gym, which I didn't have time to check out. I was sprinting out of the place. And then after that, I ran over to my last appointment over in Chelsea. This is probably one of my favorite, favorite locations in the city, but the apartment is definitely in an older building and there are no fancy amenities or a doorman, again, which I prefer for safety reasons. I knew this apartment wouldn't have all the things I was looking for, but I still want to give it a shot because it is in such a prime location. This one's a one bedroom on 30th and 8th, and this was going for $37.50. As you walk in, you have an entryway closet directly to your left. Take a few steps and to the right is more closets and a bathroom. I love how clean and simple the bathroom is with lots of storage behind the mirrors. I am a skincare junkie, so I always love checking the behind the mirror space. As we head into the living room space, you can see that we get so much beautiful sunlight in here and you get a street level view of 30th Street. However, the kitchen is teeny tiny. It barely exists. I don't know how anyone would ever be able to cook in here. You've got a dishwasher, microwave, stove. Good thing the fridge is pretty big since you'll be storing a lot of takeout with how little food prep and cooking you'll be able to do. I assume you have to get one of those cutting boards that go directly across the sink. Heading into the bedroom, it is a little bit small. You could fit a queen bed, but it would be a tight squeeze and inconvenient to access the closet. On the bright side, you do have a pretty deep closet. Here's another view of the bedroom, again, a little bit tiny. With this apartment, I think you sacrifice a lot of space for the location. So those are all the places I toured last week. I still think these rent prices are absolutely obscene, but I hope it gives you a better idea of what the rental market looks like in New York City right now. Stay tuned since I didn't choose any of these places and I will be doing more apartment tour videos. Leave a comment below if you want me to look at a specific price range or neighborhood. Like and subscribe if you can, it really does help the algorithm and thank you for watching. Bye!